Okay. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brianna. And welcome to my channel. <music> I decided I would film a uh, how do I how do you I don't even know what what do they be telling titling those videos how do I edit my YouTube videos so I wanted to show y'all how I edit my YouTube videos well how I used to edit them like when I made my first video which was like I think a month ago but I'm still like a fresh new YouTuber and I know there are probably people that are still trying to do youtube and like when i searched up like how i edit my videos i feel like everyone is like use imovie use imovie but y'all imovie was the reason why i lost so many files i hate imovie i don't like iMovie. even though it's free sometimes stuff that's not that's free ain't for you and let me tell you imovie is not for me so y'all i use um I use Filmmaker Pro and I think it's like $6.99 like a month or something. I'm not really for sure. I think it is $6.99 a month. And but you get like so like you get so 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 many cool features for the $6.99. I know it's not free, but like you're getting your work money's worth with Filmmaker Pro. And I did record a video. It's like a little six minute video, but I haven't edited the video yet, so I decided you guys can edit the video with me and we're gonna edit it so I'm gonna edit on this iPad right here and I'm gonna make my screen smaller and then um, so you guys can actually see the screen I'm gonna screen record on here what I'm doing. but for some reason it's not letting me screen record on this iPad so basically I'm gonna just have to sit y'all down and yeah kind of do it the little ghetto way but it's okay though because we finna get this video done you're gonna click this plus sign right here you're gonna create a new project and you're gonna click on landscape because everything else is ir irrelevant you're gonna click this plus sign right here click on videos and when this screen pops up like y'all i don't really touch anything I just click the plus sign, like, that's it, because it's coming from the photo album. But if you had a video that was stored in, like, let's say, your um, files and it wasn't in your photos, you would click on files and then you would click the plus sign. But because my video is in the photos app, I just click on the photos and then I click the plus sign. And then I'm going to click on this video because this is the video I'm editing. And I have to wait for it to load. And then here's a video. So you have so much stuff that you can do, literally. Like you can add music in the background. You can import music from a video, like a video that's already in your photos album. You can, I mean, not import it. You can extract the video from, you can extract the audio from a video. And it clearly says right here, y'all, I'm so slow but you can also import music that's normally um what i usually click and then it has like sound sound effects collection and then it has music collections y'all they music i don't really know because y'all the music sounds kind of like who can who can play that in a song like baby no so <laughs> Scratch that. We finna play our own music, but basically, I'm gonna What's play up, this. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brianna, and welcome to my channel. And y'all, and after I say my intro, normally I just um I split the video into two. So to split or cut or trim or whatever, you double click it, and then you drag the cursor over to wherever so i want to split it i don't want to trim it so you, before you even drag this yellow thing anywhere 
you need to click one of these options because if not, you're gonna fuck up the video and that has happened to me before. So we wanna split the video and I'm gonna drag the cursor to wherever, to after my intro, not my intro, my, you know what I mean, when I be like, hi, welcome to my channel, that's, that's where I'm from. Um, give me a second, guys. Oh, wait, too far. Come on. Yeah, another unboxing video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brianna. I think it's right here. Hopefully I'm not messing up the video. Y'all today I am. So right here is where I wanna cut it from me saying my little intro thing and then, so you see that split right there? So let's see if it's right. Cause welcome Lord have mercy. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brianna and welcome to my channel. Y'all today I am. Wait a minute. Y'all today I So right here in this and this split right here, that's where I will normally drag my intro. So I do have my intro with me. Um I'm gonna drag the intro right there. So this is my intro. And y'all, I shout out to the girl that made my intro. I will tag her Instagram in this video because she did a really, really good job. But I can't play this because the music is copyright music. And here, I'm gonna play like. So that's the intro music. It's just gonna Sun Came Out song. But y'all, normally when I upload my videos, I don't use the gonna song just because copyright. Your girl is not trying to get copyrighted. Well, today I am doing another unboxing video. But this unboxing video is going to be like... I and y'all, normally, I ain't even going to cap to y'all. The parts so, that I don't like, I be uh, snip, snip. I be cutting them out because I don't got time. Box is like a monthly subscription thing where like they send you different like... And also, I know this, this is all over the place, but you can put stickers and stuff on these videos, like animated stickers, and you can drag them to wherever you want. And you can set the time, like if you want it to be on the screen for like 10 seconds, it will show on the screen for 10 seconds. They got all these different stickers, y'all. It's pretty pretty. Like this app, iMovie not doing this, y'all. iMovie is not doing this. They got the emojis on here. Stop playing with Filmmaker. This is cute. This is cute. And what else they have on here? Um, you can do a voiceover. So you can do, which is really cool, like accept the microphone. And you can do ready to record. Oops, I didn't mean to press that, you guys. Um, what did I just do? Girl, I'm messing it up. Oh, I don't know what, vo oh, voiceover to text. Okay, so that's if you want to text it and you can't, um, if you don't want to talk and you want to do a voiceover, like, I guess Siri, I don't know, I never tried that. So let me just try it. Voice to text. And then... Let's just type in something. Oh, you can import from tracks? Wow. Oh my goodness. I guess it's not working for me. Oh, okay, 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 got it. So when you wanna record, you just press the record at the bottom and then it will start recording you and you press stop and then you see the little this right here and you can literally hear me talking 
and then you can trim it and then you can delete it and i'm gonna delete it but this has so much cool stuff on here illustrations you can draw like i thought you could draw on here you can draw on here let me see or is that a that's a sticker so these are stickers and they have so many stickers i thought you could draw on here And you can show how, you can set it to how intense you want the stickers to be, like. And also you can um, change how you want the stickers to pre present themselves. So if you want them to flip down before they come on, you can do that. So you see how it flips before it actually shows up. So it does that, and you can also set the stickers, um, the stickers to how long you want them to show. But like this, y'all, this um, app really saved my life as far as editing videos because it was so easy. And like, if you delete, if you put any footage on here and you delete it out of your photos album, because I've had times where I've like ran out of space in my phone. And I was like, dang, I need to delete some stuff. But some of like some of the videos, <laughs> some of the stuff that I deleted was on this filmmaker app. And like I know in iMovie, if you delete, if you're using any photos or videos, um, if you create anything like a video out of that, a movie, and you delete the photos or videos in your photos album, it's gonna delete it. And then once you go on iMovie, you can't see it anymore. So that's not the case with this app. Like if you import anything anything um from your photo album if you import it on this app it will stay on this app it's not gonna delete it and that's why i lost so much footage in iMovie because i had to make space on my phone in order to edit my videos but i don't edit them i don't edit the videos on um filmmaker pro anymore i edit them on my laptop but like this is a good good app if you want to edit videos on your phone or on your iPad, any Apple device. I'm not for sure if this app comes on any um, Android, like any Android phone or any Android device. I'm not for sure, but I know on Apple, like you can get this app, but. This is an extra brush. And then I haven't opened the this bundle yet. I'm gonna open it and I don't want to play too much because I'm going to upload this video on my channel. But there wasn't really a lot for me to, like, upload. My next video. Yeah, there wasn't really a lot for me to upload because this was an unboxing video. So this video was pretty simple to um, edit. All I needed to do also, to to channel, was split, split this in two and then put an intro in here and that's pretty much it like that's it all like if you doing a big big video depending on how much storage your phone has i'm not really for sure how well the app will hold up i'm assuming it will hold up well if you got a lot of storage but i know once i started doing like longer videos like more than 15 minute videos the app wasn't really I don't know it wasn't really working for me no more but this this app is really really cool if you're um doing like 10 minute videos or less and also they have it to where you can pay um $35 for 12 months you pay $3 per month they have a seven day free trial and then you can pay the $6.99 I was telling y'all about in my iPhone, um, what's in my iPhone video. They have a $6.99, that's what I was doing. And you have the one-time purchase of $69.99. I don't know who paying, between these two, I don't know who doing that, cause I ain't doing it. But I mean, if you plan on editing your videos for a long time on your phone or on your iPad, then I guess it's a good investment. But y'all, at the time, I was like $6.99, I'm paying $6.99 and I'm done. But this video is pretty much done. All I need to do is add background music, which for some reason I can't, I tried to transfer my background music onto from my phone onto 
this um onto this ipad but it wasn't working so i'm gonna just um put the music the background music on it on it later and then also i need to change the music in my intro and also y'all you can actually um put a picture in a picture or you can put a video on here or you can put a picture or you can put a gif and i think that's cool so like let's say i wanted to put this on <laughs> my intro again it will load up on the screen and you can resize it and you can like tell it how long you want it to be on there you can clip it like this like iMovie is not doing this y'all not do you ain't gotta buy this in order for you to do all like all of this stuff like you ain't gotta buy it you can just download it and then do what you want to do and that's pretty much it and then it saves and also when you save it you can pick the uh export resolution so when you're doing a youtube video you always want to save it in 1080 and you always want to do it at 30 seconds per frame like frame per seconds or you want to do it at 60 frames per second. And the only reason why I, why I know that is because my phone does it like, like there's a HD option and it says HD and then it says 30 or it says HD and it says 60. And normally I film my videos in 1080 at 60 frames per second. Um, I do, sometimes I do film my videos in 4K. It really just depends like 4k videos take up so much storage you guys so you just better off using 1080 at 60 uh frames per second um if you do it at 30 frames per second it makes the videos look very like slow like i like i can't really describe it but uh 1080 at 60 frames per second is decent and you can draw on here so what am i talking about so you can definitely, you can draw on here. <laughs> um, you can do anything that you want. This app is amazing, y'all. And if I go into detail, the video would be so long. But yeah, this is how I edit my um, very, very first two YouTube videos. I didn't want to make this video super long because people like some people attention span is like not there so like that's pretty much the basics of editing on this app um i could go in depth but i would have to use like a different video because y'all this video is only like six minutes long it really didn't take me much to edit like i'm gonna upload this video and call it a day but yeah, this app is amazing. It's amazing, amazing. It is definitely worth the $6.99. Y'all, iMovie is so trash. And like, I would advise y'all to download both of them and compare the two. Because when I downloaded, I did use iMovie for my first video when I did film my first car tour video and I lost that footage. And I think I told y'all that in my um, get to know me video, I lost the footage because I was using iMovie. And then I discovered Filmmaker Pro and I was like, <laughs> I was just like, yes, sir. Like this finna change my whole life. And it did like, and it's really, really, it's such a great app. Like I feel like I can always follow back on Filmmaker Pro and just edit videos on my phone if my laptop were to ever die one day or something like that. But that's it if you have any questions about filmmaker pro or if you have any questions in general about my editing process um feel free to leave comments in the comment section or you can dm me dm me on twitter or you can dm me on instagram or whatever um just don't be afraid to reach out to ask questions but um yeah thank you for watching this video like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video